Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a QR code for free in Google Sheets. Now, QR code, the QR stands for quick response, and it's an easy way to embed information into a code similar to like the UBC barcode that you scan in supermarkets or in retail stores. But this one can enable you to put lots of other information in like a website address, a poem, an email address, even business card, v-card information and you can create it for free in Google Sheets. So one thing to know about QR codes, there are static QR codes and there are dynamic QR codes. With the static QR codes, you can't change the destination that it is going to. Uh, it's gonna go to whatever static URL or email that you originally set it up. But we can actually create or simulate a dynamic URL where it's gonna to go to a specific URL, but then you can change that URL later on. So in instances where you have events or maybe you're a restaurant owner and you wanna change menus quite often and you have this QR code that you're, using, you're letting people use, you can actually keep that QR code and when there are changes to your menu or changes to your event or changes to, if you got a newsletter, you change it to a newsletter, all you need to do is go and change the destination of that URL you don't need to change the QR code. That destination can go to updates that are different every time. I'll show you how to simulate that or create this dynamic QR code later on in the video. Delete this. That's what it looks like, but for the code to get it, it's really pretty easy. All you need to do is go to the developer.googles.com site, and I'll put this into the description of the video. And all you need to do is take this line Control C to copy, put it into Google Sheets here under a function called image, open parentheses, open quotes, Control V to paste that. And there are three arguments or required arguments that you need in there. And one is this uh, CHT.QR, Control C to copy. And basically it just says, this is a QR code. So we put that in there, Control V to paste, and we're gonna join it with other arguments or other parameters. And we're gonna put the ampersand to join that. And the other required uh, parameter is the CHS, and this is the size. So I'll just Control C to copy that, and Control V to paste, and I'll put it in the format of maybe 150 pixels by 150 pixels times 150, because that's going to tell you the image size, one width times height. The last parameter that I need to put in there is the CHEL, control C to copy, and I think the L probably stands for link or length, I'm not sure, but you need to put that in there. We're gonna join it with the ampersand, control V to paste, and that's gonna equal the URL that we're gonna use here. So I'm gonna type in the full URL, HTTPS colon backslash backslash, and we're gonna do www google.com, close quotes, close parentheses, press enter. Now, if all we needed was just one URL for one QR code, that'd be fine. All we need to do is hard code it in there. But if we had a list of URLs, or we had a list of emails and we wanted each of them to have its own QR code, we can actually create a column here to do that. So we're just gonna change this a little bit. Delete this and take the CHL equals the quotes, and all we need to do is put it in an ampersand, and we're gonna join whatever's in here in A2. So select that cell, A2 is there, press enter. Nothing's gonna show up right now. This QR code might still go to Google, but let's change the, the URL here, HTTP colon backslash backslash www.bing.com. Press enter. Now let's see if that changed it. And now if we have other URLs that we wanted to copy down, we can do that. HTTP, let's do this one. And we can call, make this one www.yahoo.com. Let's make another one. HTTP backslash, how about www.facebook.com. Press enter. 
and I'm gonna select these two cells, drag the fill handle down there so it's gonna copy it, and the URL should copy as, as well as the QR code. So let's make the row heights this a little bit bigger. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see, a little bit bigger and make that one a little bit bigger. So you can see that, uh, I'll make this one smaller here. All right, so they're all different QR, they're all different QR codes going to different sites. And so let's see, this one goes to Yahoo, this one goes to Facebook. Let's see if that, that works out. Now these are all the static QR codes. If we want to create something a little bit more dynamic where we didn't always have to change the QR code, but just change the eventual destination that it goes to, we would have to use a URL shortener. And there are a couple companies out there to provide the shorten URL service. Google used to provide it, but there's others out there like bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y or Owly, O-W dot L-Y but a lot of them don't give you the capability to edit the destination of that shortened URL. But I found one and we can actually test it out here. So here I am back in my sheet here and I'm gonna change this link here. This is gonna to point to the shortened URL and a site that I found that actually lets you edit your shortened URLs is Rebrandly and I have it here. So right now this is gonna to go to Bing. We noticed earlier this is gonna to go to Google but we're gonna change that. Right, so we're gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy that uh, URL and put it in over here. Control V to paste, press enter. Now this new one is going to go to Bing, so let's see if that works. So now we're gonna change it. We're gonna change from Bing Let's edit that and let's make that go to Google. Save that. Go back into Google Sheets. And let's check out the URL or the QR code. And now it's gonna go to Google. So that's the way that we can do it where we have, or we're simulating a dynamic QR code. We're gonna reference a URL shortener and all we need to do is just change it. If we ever have changes, it's gonna be the same URL, same QR code, but we're using the URL shortener to change it for us. So that's the way that we can create a free QR code, a free static one and a free dynamic one using Google Sheets and also this Rebrandly URL shortener service. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.